Bill Stern with another thrilling story from the world of sports. If there's a Hall of Fame for trick shot artists in this here world of sports, a leading candidate for top honors goes to Q-Champ Willie Moscone, world's number one man in the pocket billiards department, a sleight of hand artist at table croquet, who starts off to prove it by making six balls with one shot. Then, four balls lined up, but not for long, each one in a different pocket, and pick mine if he doesn't make it. This one's gonna be an on-the-wing shot, the truest test of timing, coordination, and manual skill. A regular ivory jam session. One down, one to go. If he can just sneak number two along at the exact split second. It's tough even for a guy who used a billiard ball for a teething ring. Time shot. Moscone starts one along the rail, banking the cue ball off the corner cushions in time to knock off the traveler. A matter of knowing all the angles. The most difficult of all billiard shots, even for a maestro. The Massé, which calls for an educated cue ball with a PhD in English. Man, look at that stuff take hold. He's really quick on the draw. Now, one of the most sensational billiard shots ever filmed. A long Massé shot with a cue ball speaking the King's English the full length of the table. Like old man River, it just keeps rolling along. This one's called hurdle hopping. The cue ball into the pack and then up and over and in. Here's the machine gun shot, using English that's found in no dictionary. This one's the old bumps a daisy technique. The ball nudges everything that gets in the way and picks off the sleeper into the side pocket. Obstacle shot. And how to mow them down when they get in your way. Just bang the cue ball into the head ball and <laughs> that opens things up wide. If there's an old bridge lying around, he just jumps the ball right over it, makes one in the end, then brings it back under the bridge. You know, the table doesn't have to be clear for this guy. Nothing's too complicated for Willie. He does everything but shoot a gal out of a cannon. Lining up his famous railroad shot. Just try to keep up with it. One in the corner, number two in the side pocket, cue ball jumps the track and hey, let's change trains at the next stop. Now let's take a cue on three cushions from Mr. Billiards himself, Willie Hoppy, the old maestro of the Ivories, Willie the Wizard, a champion in the world of sport for more than half a century. Hoppy's game is the most difficult of them all. Three cushion billiards, where every shot's a trick shot, demanding skill, perfect control, split-second timing. And speaking about your PhDs, you need one in geometry to know all the angles in this game. Here comes a time shot that's purely for exhibition purposes begins by starting the cue ball down the table. Number two follows the cue ball. They're both ticketed to go round five cushions. If your eyes are quicker than the ivories, you can count each ball taking five rails. And they're all headed for a billiard in the same spot. This is what you call perfect control. And one of the most sensational shots you'll ever see, winding up with a billiard. Not only have few cumin ever beaten Hoppy, not many have even tied him. Massé shots like this are a good reason why. Already three cushions, four, five, and a billiard. Lining up a time Massé exhibition shot. If his timing is off, just the split fraction of a second, uh-uh, it's no go. Look at the English on that cue ball. Calculated perfectly to take exactly the proper spin and speed off the rails. As it comes off the fifth cushion and heads up the table, 
Willie the Wizard masses the second white ball off the red, and just listen to that English accent. Massé shot in the corner. There's enough spin and draw for a four-cushion billiard. Willie does it in one square foot of table. Brother. Not strictly according to Hoyle, but according to Hoppy, a demonstration of his mastery of the cue and the polished ivories. A bouncer off the far cushion, then off his cue to make the billiard. Idea here is to get all the loose change off the table, a quarter on the edge of the cushion, a glass behind it, and brother, dig that crazy cash register. Four very shapely reasons why this shot's not only difficult, but more than slightly distracting. But concentration has always been the mark of a champion. This is what I call the scenic railway shot, and he bothers to make a billiard yet? Now let's give him a tough one. Duck pins scattered all over the table and six cushions to hit to get around them. Object here is not to knock them over. Missing all the pins would be a cinch for me, particularly on a bowling alley. The old maestro not only misses them neatly, he makes a six cushion billiard at the same time. No wonder he's Willie the Wizard. Besides, this shot gives us a rather neat segue into our next sequence on bowling tricks. We're now in the ten pin department with the most fabulous bowler who ever lived, the late, the great Joe Valcaro, the old trickster aiming for a sleeper, shifting the ball to his left hand and then palming it. Slow motion. And the ball looks plenty wide, but he's got a cut on it that curves around like a jive haircut. Hey, that's a real slice of English. Two, seven, eight, nine. A slick split with two pins standing as hazards down the alley just to make the going tough. All set for the downbeat, and this is what you call having what it takes with plenty to spare. To make this split, there's just one way, the hard way. But that doesn't stop the fabulous Valcaro. Keep your eyes on that number nine pin for a neat takeout. This is really slicing it mighty thin. Comes now one of the most sensational shots in the bag of bowling tricks. Sitting down with a ball in each hand, he rolls the first from the right side of the alley for the seven pin. Now, the left hand ball for the 10 pin an exhibition of the ultimate in control, timing, and bowling skill. This one's called skipping the gutter. Four pins on our alley and a fifth pin on the alley next door. The object is to clear off both alleys with one shot. There she goes, Joe. Look at that first pin fly across for the takeout on the neighboring alley. You know the insurance agent just called up and canceled the girl's accident policies when he saw that trick? If Falcaro falters, somebody goes down with a game gam. But what a striking picture. The old banana split. To figure this one out, the girls have to put their heads together. Incidentally, if you want to try this shot, you got to furnish your own glamour. That's not part of the standard equipment in bowling alleys, but <laughs> could be a good idea. Everything on that alley except a candidate for Congress. Now here's how to make seven the hard way. But if you try it, you gotta clean up the mess yourself. And if you do it, you can join Moscone and Hoppy and Falcaro in the Trick Shot Hall of Fame. <laughs>